Welcome back to my channel, uh, the Olympus Sky. This time we got something different for you. Uh, we got an image here from from Spirit, and I'm using Midnight Planets at the moment. Uh, to, it's it's such a nice site where you can find all the images. Uh, for example, we go here to Curiosity Lates images here. Click on anyone here. You get down here. You got image source and uh, redirect you di directly to to NASA and. Um, yeah, it has some of the older images as well, and I really like just browsing it. I mean, look at this, and, and the whole structure of, of browsing is just absolutely amazing. There are a couple of uh, apps here. You could, it's, it's not available on Android, which <laughs> which is a bummer. But anyway, so uh, we're going to do this one. Spirit Soul 825. Now, what is so interesting about this image, you're wondering. Oh, sorry, not on that one. Let's just go here and jump into Photoshop. And uh, so the first thing you might notice is this thing here. Kind of a triangular block with with something in the middle here. Excuse me. Now, now this thing here looks very interesting. Very uh, has a, a very interesting shape here. Now hold on a moment. We'll just get into the enhanced version here. Just giving you a quick preview here. This thing, now remember, this thing looks really, really out of place. And when I zoom in into it, it, it looks like it has been photoshopped, at least this black area here. And there's literally not one pixel here. There's literally nothing there. <laughs> and that's, that's quite, you know, the usual thing when you're looking at the older rovers. And... Maybe that's the way they were manipulating, but I must say that I do find a lot more anomalies in the, uh, in the old images. And especially since Curiosity was like um, drilling the whole time. And they weren't releasing basically anything, just, just making pictures of a hole. Now that's not so interesting of course. After that I really noticed that there are a lot less anomalies. Um, like like there, there have been some changes in it, it seems to me. So I decided, you know what, Let, let's let's go more often back to the older rovers. And of course, uh, due to the experience I got from doing this for YouTube and everything, things have changed. I've gotten better. All my friends there have gotten better as well. And uh, you know what, if you find something out or just want to give a tip to each other, we we'll just do that. And you know, I really love those two guys, Mars Anomalies and Mars Mask. Definitely check those two out. Those are my teammates, my friends, uh, I should rather say. But uh, well, let's jump into this. So it's definitely an interesting image. I have no idea what title I should use for my video because eventually this will become like really generic. Even I only have like 64 videos at 30 like. Well, I didn't have this microphone. The quality is of course different. Now the thing here is trying with heaven, maybe or maybe not. But eventually I'll just start having, uh, gotta use like generic titles. I think I'm forced, like spirits or uh, whatever, whatever. And this is what I basically found in the cult anomalies. So it's kind of a struggle, you know? Because eventually you're just finding the same evidence over and over again. Uh, let me change this to 3 pixel. Now I hope you understand that. Uh, we really have to do something about this because they're getting away with it. And I'm, um, you know, I just continue this channel for the people. We just have to unite, do something here. There's a triangle here. There's really, I've got to stop doing that. It's really hidden triangle here. There's a small triangle here. And there's so much more here. There's, it's hidden triangle shapes here. It's kind of broken up. But it's definitely like a triangle. Now, I think we had more triangles here. So immediately went, I think. I think I over sharpened this layer, but that's all fine. Um, especially in this image, I really like how it responds to the tools. It's it's like it's a lot easier and better to work with, with, with these images than those from Curiosity. And that sounds so stupid because basically I totally forgot. I didn't rant about it so long. How much did Curiosity cost again? One and a half billion or something like that? Two and a half billion, I think. I might be really exaggerating right now, but I do know that the Curiosity costs about 700 million, but the total mission costs about one and a half. If you didn't know that, you know now. 
and please always research stuff you can find the uh, link here for the image I'm using here and now look at this really interesting still you should have duplicated this first it's got something like it is another triangle of a shape goes like this goes like and there's a kind of bucket shape here really interesting this thing you know that could be a natural formation of course but this thing looks really odd and I'll tell you in a minute why let's see invert this do this and it it just looks so out of place like there's something going on there and now this becomes more apparent as well it's like this and you see a triangular line there a really vague one um, let me see if I, I always skip the big and only I'm so into detail lately I really want to share a lot more detail kind of made out of my channel like a um, like showing the bigger anomalies right more in your face and that's not necessarily true um, I totally forgot to put in the beginning like a learning thing I wanted guys to learn you something which is really important especially in this time these times but I'll do that in the next video and it will be definitely like um, giving you overall more security and oversight on your own computer <clears throat> now let's see and let me see if I can darken this up it's already quite fine well let's let's take a look here so you got this weird kind of weird shape here kind of something like this and now the interesting part there is and I know it's really hard to see look at it going like this and there's something here in this place here you can see that there's a line going like this to the back like this and really interesting it all seems to be like connected so this thing in the back here just found this here is connected to this weird triangular shape rock sticking out <laughs> well a sentence sometimes here and it's, it's you know there's something going on there definitely uh, but like I said before in the beginning of the video they they just like it seems that they in in the uh, in the early images like removed stuff literally and then thrown some black over it uh, like I said so when we talked about this anomaly here in the beginning we can actually see it's some it's kind of a circular shape here circular shape here and then everything's gone here now when you zoom out and you can see it like there has been messed with you can see like the border of that anomaly is almost glowing when you zoomed out and why is it so dark and black why is that and when you look at the rest of the ground there everything's fine this thing comes from this direction looks fine too and it's just kind of suspicious now I'm not the shadow expert and everything but you don't have to be an expert to ask questions and that's the whole point of this channel you know <laughs> and I found this one as well particularly interesting and this whole structure here now, it might not be so apparent in the first place well I'll tell you what I'm seeing here let me grab the rush to here um, there's some kind of almost looks like a pipe but I'm quite sure it's not there's a really small 90 degree angle here yeah it's like this there's something black here and there's this goes in a triangle shape not sure we'll see that in a moment just one second here um, if you look closely yes let's see if we can sharpen that up always interesting yeah, it was exciting uh, just to make my point a bit clearer here you can see that this is a circle right I hope you can see this and it looks like it's connected to this piece of machinery now why do I call this machinery and I look at this it goes like this it makes a 90 degree angle like this right I, not the best draw <laughs> can't draw that good of course with a mouse okay, I do have a drawing tablet but I think it's kind of over the top to connect that connect to professional microphone and everything and it's it's fine as it is right and it's all about the shit and this looks like it's some kind of block and I don't understand what there's going on here um, in this black area 
it's it seems so so not right and i will just go to to the inverted mode and you can see see now it turns white of course because we're in inverted mode but it should be a lot clearer now now did, do you remember this line here it's kind of black stuff here and when we go to the inverted mode it seems now to at least you know it was already like that before but now you can at least distinguish it that it's connected to each other and then this line goes out of it and then you see this this next weird thing going to the back going here and, and this weird curved plate look at this and then it goes boom really straight here from this place it goes back this little shadow here and the details are so extraordinary in these images i do highly invite you just to check out the details for yourself and i will warn you if you're enhancing for yourself please do not exaggerate and always compare and check on yourself because you really sincerely can mess stuff up and it will really change the whole picture that's why you gotta spend like a lot more time than you then they think on this and mainly the most time <coughs> I spend actually on these images on these images is to check on yourself now this whole construction I see very interesting area yeah, I think there's like a uh, plate uh, lying here and I just found this one line here going to the right going down there's one line in the middle very very interesting I remember this area right now and that's why um, <laughs> it might not that be a pen I really hate NASA images how often do you have to say that now look at it it kind of slopes down and it kind of goes here what am I doing here again it kind of connects to this weird um, platform area I think this is not a good angle it's kind of curved there um, this looks really suspicious to me I'm not saying it is something definitely but um, look at this thing, this little small thing here. You could clearly see that this is a box. Right? And I think it even go like this. Right. Now let's draw this out. Finish it up so it will be a lot easier for you to see. Now you can see that this is some kind of box. But this box, this artificial shape is connected um, at least going to to this shape here so first of all you know what probably a natural formation uh, of course not everything's artificial uh, that's that's super logical of course but what makes me think that if this is artificial and this is connected to this thing and what we're seeing this kind of artificial slope here this this area here, now why wouldn't this be artificial as well Hey, that's why we gotta investigate, you know, those are really small clues that you should just pay more attention to. And those are the clues that will want you to investigate an area just a bit more. Um, for example, now next to normally here. See this kind of white, whitened out? And you can see that there's detail to it. Now we go to the original image. You can see that there's, they, 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 there's something right here. Um let's go back now enhance this already now look at this now this one's definitely not not that clear there's something going here going like this going to the left and eventually it goes kind of up here that's a straight line from here to here there's a straight line from here kind of goes under this line here I'm not, see I'm drawing that too straight but of course you understand that this is a some kind of broken artifact there um, what this is is it artificial I don't know but it's highly suspicious and then always when you find anomaly just go to the back try and follow it uh, backtrack it and what did I want to show more in this image like I, I already showed that triangle unfortunately so I think this is quite an interesting image. Here's another triangle, triangle heaven. Should I pick that as a title or not? What am I, what am I going to use as a thumbnail? Dilemmas when you're uploading, I swear to you. Um, let's see. Now there's something going on in it. Give me a second. Let's see if we can make out some lines here. I know two might look like ridiculous. 
But the whole reason why I do this is just to make out the lines here. That's really important. Uh, for example, I'll give another second. At first look, you know, this thing looks like sand. We go to the inverted mode, you can take a more in-depth look at it. And this doesn't seem to be sand. Um, it's, it looks like some kind... It's, it's a weird rock laying there, basically. Let's see. If we can do something to it. Because I haven't checked this out myself, although I was really interested. Um, let's try and sharpen it a bit up here. So what did we found here? What did we find here? Basically, uh, a straight line. You can see just pixels here. It goes like this. And then to the left. Mm -hmm. So we found a 90 degree angle. Unfortunately, there isn't much lead to follow up later on. Um, I think we'll call it a video here. Uh, there's definitely... <laughs> oh my gosh, you can spend your entire evenings like this. You can spend your entire life like this. Not recommend it. But, uh, you know, keep yourself interested in this. Because they, we have to expose them. We have to do something like that. Um, I do feel myself fit enough to stand uh, and face NASA in court. Uh, of course, uh, that's a really expensive move there. And I would really like to see like a team like like put some pressure on these guys. So if possible, please do press subscribe and press thumbs up um, in, in, in support of, of the channels here. And basically, well, like I said in the beginning of my video, um, what I consider as teammates, you know, the real teammates. Because I talk to them all the time. Uh, we talk, I guess, more to each other than we throw on YouTube. Unfortunately, like it's not, not possible to throw everything on YouTube due to a lack of understanding. But we're trying, you know, to learn people to to look for this, look for the patterns, and it takes some time to get acclimated to it. And if you give this a chance if you have Photoshop or if you, get, you have GIMP for that matter, please check out the description. I've got there like a really newbish tutorial newbish from my side because i'm not a tutorial maker and i said that many times now basically you can just get started for yourself in every video there's a link and now i'm gonna forget the biggest anomaly in this picture <laughs> now what i noticed here is, is this line right and it goes a bit to the left you see all this rubble and it faintly looks like a square that was kind of the reason for me. Let me show you because now we've enhanced it a bit. Now let me see if I can pull out these lines a bit more. And you can indeed see, you know, by, by the rubble itself. I'll place a line here, go to this corner, go to this. And there's some rubble here. Now you can clearly see like the straight line of rubble here, see? And if you let me zoom in and just show you just a bit more here. See that this there is a straight line like a pattern here and from here on I kind of this is the end we able to connect it so so kind of it looks like the rubble lays there in a particular pattern here um, if you look at this here we got another line it kind of goes this way and it's truly fascinating but it's just not there in plain sight and I really love to do plain sight anomalies but that's not all as from here from from time to time I really like to do make these kind of videos and let me know if you appreciate that in, in the comment section below and it will do that like more often uh, because it is a risky move because the new viewer won't understand exactly what's going on there but like like I said before you check out the tutorial you got some informative videos there like called uh, I have a video called rubbish image quality if you go look for that one on my video, then we're talking about the image compression. What I think uh, NASA is compartmentalized. Uh, they, they work like that on images where team A knows everything, team B knows less, team C knows even, even less. And uh, about uh, data compression and uh, the, the, the transferring from an image from, from Mars to, to Earth. And basically, I'm going to hang them on every single aspect. And I thank you so much for listening. And this, this, I think this really long video, by the way. But I would definitely like to wish you a, um, a nice weekend. 
thank you so much for listening and watching thank you for your interest your comments your subscriptions and and especially for sharing and liking and everything so um thank you so much for your support see you in the next video